When we talk about molecules in chemistry, it's often under two different circumstances. We'll talk about the individual molecule, and we'll look very closely at the molecule, the number of electrons, the orientation of bonds, the overall structure of the molecule. But we also need to be concerned with collections of molecules. If you take molecules together and make a solid, or molecules mixed together in a solution, or a liquid substance, or molecules in the gas phase. Now, it turns out molecules in the gas phase are very easy to understand in terms of their overall properties, their pressure, the volume, the amount of gas, the number of moles, and their temperature. The reason is, in a gas phase, the molecules don't interact with each other very often. In fact, we'll take the ideal situation as our starting point. An ideal gas is where the particles fly around the container and when they do interact, briefly, they'll just bounce off each other. That'll be a perfectly elastic collision. When they bounce off the walls, that'll be an elastic collision. So no interactions between the particles, and the particles fly around freely in the gas phase. Can we describe how that macroscopic properties of pressure, volume, and temperature relate to those particles? Well, it turns out we can. Let's start with the pressure and the volume. For these circumstances that I've described, an ideal gas, the pressure and the volume multiply together to form a constant at constant temperature. That's a very interesting property. If the pressure goes up, the volume must go down because their product has to be a constant. So here's a sample of gas trapped in a balloon. And if I took and squeezed this down, increase the pressure, I would decrease the volume. Pressure goes up, volume goes down. That inverse relationship is very important, and it's a classic example of what happened in gases. So for high volumes and low pressures, we'll draw the gas in a little cylinder here. We can compress the gas slightly. So put some pressure on the cylinder, bring the gas into a smaller volume, but the pressure will increase. The number of collisions with the walls increases because you've decreased the volume. We could continue to decrease the volume. But at each point along this curve, the product and the pressure of the volume are the same constant. Now, that means we could also plot the pressure versus 1 over the volume. And we could do that, P equals a constant over V, to get a linear relationship. It's often good in science to plot something that's linear, because then you can predict very easily trends. So for a fixed temperature, pressure versus 1 over volume is a straight line. So the product of pressure and volume equals a constant is a fundamental property of gases, and that's one we'll use very frequently in this course.